this is Ron Clark. You're listening to Lesson 3 in the Magic of yod heh vav heh Adonai. Lesson 1 concerned the proper pronunciation, tonality, and rhythm of the canticle. Lesson 2, the three modes of magical speech. And now, with Lesson 3, we will focus upon the energetic work that empowers the canticle and makes it truly magical. This involves integrating your creative imagination with the spoken canticle thus creating a magical ritual very similar to the middle pillar exercise and the rose cross popularized by the golden dawn. Again, for ease of explanation, I will be dividing the canticle into five parts corresponding to the five speaking breaths. The first step occurs simultaneous to the speaking of the Ani. Ani. Here your consciousness must rise up along with your vocalization. Let the Ani resonate at your crown, and visualize there a sublimely radiant sphere of white brilliance. Let this be your kether, your crown, your highest ideal of self and of divinity. Make it a thing of intense, undeniable power. Let's try it now. As we speak the Ani, create your ketheric sphere just above the top of your head, and let it shine there for a moment or two. Ani. Now hold your Catholic sphere exactly where it is with your mental will. Stabilize it. Feel it. Let it be your own personal doorway to the Catholic light. Now speak the Ani again and make it grow still stronger. Ani. Very well. Now let it dissipate completely. The second step, composed of four sub-steps, occurs simultaneous to the speaking of yod heh vav -Heh. While it is four energetic steps, it's really one operation and must be accomplished smoothly and in one motion. However, to explain it, we must go one semi-step at a time and then tie them all together. With the yod, you are to pull a beam of Ketheric light down, out of your Ani sphere, and create a luminous gray sphere at your left temple. This is your Chokma, your innate wisdom. With the first He, you pull light from your luminous gray sphere over to your right temple and form there an obsidian black sphere. This is your Bina, your deepest understanding. With the Vav, you pull light from your obsidian black sphere down to your solar plexus and form there a radiant sphere of golden yellow. This is your Tifereth, your own radiant beauty. With the final He, you complete this phase by pulling down the light from your golden yellow sphere and forming an opaque sphere of olive green just below the arches of your feet. This is your Malkuth your sphere of influence. Throughout this drawing down, you must remain cognizant of the fact that this is Ketheric light, and that the channels between Kether and each sphere are to remain open at all times. In other words, you're not pulling down just a single quanta of light, which you then deposit at your feet. Instead, you are opening up the channels to the light and letting it rush through them continuously. So let's give this a few tries, slowly at first. We'll spend one breath for each letter. First establish your kether with Ani. Ani. Now when we say the Yod, bring a channel of light down to your left temple and make it luminous gray. Yod. And when we say the first He, bring the light over to your right temple and make an obsidian black sphere. Hey! And with the Vav, bring the light down to the center of your chest and make it a radiant golden yellow sphere. Vav! Now finish with the final Hey and bring the light all the way down so that you're standing on an opaque olive green sphere. Hey! Hold this visualization. Let the Ketheric light pour continuously into you. 
Now holding your visualization, let's repeat again and thus stabilize the structure. Don't worry about how fast you go yet. Just spend one entire breath on each letter. Ani Yod He Vav He Once again. Ani Yod He Vav He Very well. Now still holding your visualization, let's go a bit faster. Spend one breath on the Ani, firming up your Kether, and then do all four letters of the Yod He Vav He within a single breath. Ani Yod He Vav He Once again Ani Yod He Vav He Very well. Now let your visualization dissipate completely. The third energetic step comes in three parts and occurs simultaneous with the speaking of Adonai. Adonai! The first part occurs during the speaking of the first syllable, Aleph. With your inhale, raise your awareness to your Kether. With the exhale and speaking of Aleph, actively push the light down all the way into your Malkuth in a single lightning flash. With the speaking of the second syllable, Don, the Ketheric light, having struck your Malkuth with some force, now erupts upward in a swirling cloud of rainbow-hued light. And with the speaking of the final extended Yod, you are to increase the density and clockwise rotation of this cloud of rainbow light. Now let's try this new step. First we will speak the Ani yod he vav he in two breaths as before. Remember to bring the Ketheric light downward, first to your left temple, then your right temple, your solar plexus, and ending at your feet. Ani yod he vav he Now holding your light structure as it is, Let's try adding in the Adonai. Remember to rise to your Kether with the inhale, push the light downward to your Malkuth with the Aleph, and then let it erupt in a swirling rainbow-hued cloud of light. Adonai! Spend a silent moment now and stabilize the swirling cloud of rainbow light. Make certain that it is fed constantly by the descending Ketheric light. Now leaving your visualization in place, let's do the entire sequence again, overlaying it upon what we have already established. Ani yod he vav he Adonai And again. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Very well. Now let your visualization dissipate completely. With the fourth step of the energetics, we will cast the accumulation of rainbow light outward. The idea here is that as you release it from your body and cast it into the universe, it will affect the materia of the universe and transform it to your will. Therefore, you must formulate in your mind what sort of change you wish to affect. 
For now our intention will be a simple blessing of good will to all. The fourth step is singular and occurs simultaneous to the speaking of the phrase Rebono Shalom. Rebono Shalom. With the inhale of breath after the Adonai, you are to gather up the entire body of light, and then with the exhaled speech, you forcefully eject it outward. Let it veritably explode into the external universe. Carefully visualize the rainbow light spreading out ever outwards until it reaches the very edge of the infinite universe. Now let's try this fourth step. First we must re-establish our light structure with the Ani Yodhe Vavhe Adonai. Ani Yodhe Vavhe Adonai. Now hold this structure and stabilize it. Let's repeat two more times. Ani Yodhe Vavhe Adonai. Ani Yodhe Vavhe Adonai. Very well. Hold this structure. Now as you inhale, gather up the light and then release it with the Rabono Shalolam. Rebono Shalolam. Let it go completely and in one gigantic explosion. See it and feel it penetrating to the very edges of the infinite universe. Very well. Now let's do the entire thing twice more. Ani yod he vav he Adonai Ribbon Shalom Ani Yod He Vav He Adonai Rebono Shalom Very well. Now let your visualization dissipate completely. The final fifth step occurs simultaneous to the speaking of Amen. Amen. This is a more passive step in that you merely observe and confirm the return of the light you've just emitted. During the inhale which follows the explosive release of the Rabono Shalolam, you are to visualize that the light, having indeed reached the edge of the infinite universe, now rebounds inward. Draw it back to yourself, and when your inhale is complete, speak the word Amen. As you speak Amen, visualize the returned light solidifying, calming, and stabilizing. The Amen ends the operation by concretizing what you've emitted, embedding its influence within the entire materia of the universe. Now let's try the entire canticle from Ani through Amen. Ani Yod He Vav He Adonai Rebon Oshelalam And again, be very aware of what you are doing at an energetic level throughout. 
Ani. Adonai Ribbon of Shellalam And now one final time. This time be aware of your energetics, and also remember that you are speaking it magically with the combined physical astromental speech. Ani Yodhevahe Adonai Ribbon of Shellalam Amen. Very well. This ends lesson three. I suggest that you practice the canticle, combining the three modes of magical speech with the energetics you've just learned over and over again until it also becomes second nature. Only then should you move on to lesson four and begin learning some of the applications of the magic of yod heh Adonai. This has been Ron Clark. My best to you. <laughs>